Asset allocation is one of the most important principles underlying modern portfolio theory. It's also one of the primary drivers of portfolio performance. It is acknowledged to explain more than 90% of a portfolio's return. In this brief video, we will explain asset allocation and its benefits. Asset allocation is the process of determining what percentage of your portfolio should be invested in each asset class. Cash, fixed income, and equities make up the major asset classes. The allocation of assets is built around an investor's overall risk tolerance. A key idea behind asset allocation is diversification. Diversifying a portfolio may reduce its overall risk to fluctuating markets by investing in a variety of securities as opposed to a single one. Cash, fixed income, and equities don't always respond the same way to changing economic and market conditions. One year, a particular asset class may outperform another. However, next year it may perform worse. It can be difficult to predict the performance of any particular asset class from year to year. By distributing your investments across a mix of these asset classes, you can reduce the risk of loss when one underperforms the others. Asset allocation takes diversification an important step further. It takes into account your specific goals, investment time horizon, income needs, and your tolerance for risk. By allocating your money in the optimal asset mix tailored towards your needs and goals, you can increase your potential for long-term success. Generally, investing involves a trade-off between risk and reward. Investments that have lower levels of risk also tend to have lower potential returns. Cash-type investments, such as bank accounts, guaranteed investment certificates, and money market accounts are examples of this. Fixed income investments, such as government and corporate bonds, tend to have more risk and can offer higher potential returns. Equities are the riskiest type of investment, yet they offer the greatest potential for return. For people with higher tolerance for risk and longer investment time horizons, a mix that leans more towards stocks can be most suitable. On the other hand, conservative investors with short-term goals may place a greater emphasis on safe but lower returning investments. Asset allocation is an ongoing process and finding the asset mix best suited for you is just the start. It's important to monitor your investments and adjust them periodically if your overall asset mix shifts over time or if your goals and time horizons change. This process of regularly shifting your asset allocation to keep it in line with your optimal strategic mix over time is called rebalancing. For example, as you near retirement, you're likely to feel more comfortable shifting to a less risky mix of investments. Emotions can cause us to take many regrettable actions as investors. Focusing on a hot stock, buying when the market is booming, and then selling after stocks are at their lowest level are examples of this. Asset allocation helps you get away from the tendency to panic or focus too much on market timing, which is notoriously difficult to predict. Even with a tried and true strategy such as asset allocation, investing can be complicated. Tools such as BMO Investor Line's Asset Allocator can help you establish and manage the appropriate asset mix for your situation. And having the structure and discipline of asset allocation can help a lot when financial markets become volatile. 